Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, I'm back. Um, just be talking to you about the things that I'm going to be enjoying this spring. Let's get into this video and you will see what it is about. I don't really have that many sandals or I haven't had that many sandals and I try to be like a minimalistic person or I try to go minimal so um that was at first but i just can't bring myself to it i did get a, a rid of a lot of clothes so i do have things that are like minimal and then i have weird things that are just like popping so first favorite would be these sandals everything that you see in this video is not gonna be expensive and it's not probably gonna not be name brand which i'm okay with some people aren't okay with but I'm okay with it. So we have these from Kohl's, not Birkenstocks, which I do really want a pair because I just feel like, you know, they're better and obviously way better quality and will last way longer. But for now, I got these for $17 at Kohl's and I don't have sandals at all. So these are like the sandals that I got for um, this spring that I'm probably gonna be wearing like every day. So check them out. Super comfy, I wear them like every day, everywhere. They go with everything, mostly everything, and you can wear them with socks and stuff. And I really like being chill, like I try so hard to be a fashionista, but it doesn't work. So my fashionista style is very chill and cheap as you can see so far. Number two, I have what am I another pair of slides. Um, obviously I really love Rihanna and um, I really love her line and her collection, but at the moment, I don't know if you've heard in my last video or a couple of videos, but I'm broke. So here I am. This is $12. I got them from Rainbow and very, very inexpensive. They were like $12.99. They had a black pair too, black pair too, but since I already had um, the black sandals that I just showed you, I didn't want to have like too much black, so I got these at first. Obviously inspired by like Puma, Rihanna Fenty, but I just don't have money for that right now. $80, I one day. Very soft sandals, love them, and I like the pink. Also, my colorway this um, spring is gonna be very uh, like pastel-y, I can already tell. I never go in rainbow, but um, I did because I know that they're cheap and I was like, oh, I wonder like what they have. And um, yeah, I wouldn't suggest getting too much from there, but $12, can't beat it. Number three, I have these. These might be the most expensive thing in that I got so far for my closet, but I just love them so much because you can wear them with like over like skinny jeans. You can wear them with a dress, like long, really long t-shirt, with shorts. Just love them so much. They're suede. They have a thick heel. So I can walk in them because I can't walk in heels. So yeah, I got these at DSW for, I think it was like $70. Like $74. And mind you, they were like on the clearance rack. So before I think they were either like 200 or like 174 I don't know but somehow like they like in the clearance rack I'm pretty sure they always have it but in different colors they have different percentage offs so I was only looking for like certain colors like red was like 50% off green was like 70% off and I think these were like in the green section so I was like okay 70% off and yeah I got them for like 70 bucks I think so I don't know about you, but um, I feel like this is a really good $70 investment. They are made in Brazil. I don't know the brand, I forgot. Somebody asked me one time and I just said DSW. Made in Brazil and they have like real leather inside. Number four, I also have these. They're from um, DSW as well, but they're like the Madden Girl collection and this is how they look. I really, 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 actually I wouldn't say hate, but I dislike gold for me. Other people it looks nice, but for me, I don't like gold. I don't like gold, so like if this was gold, if I see a gold buckle or a gold zipper, 
10 times, nine and a half times out of 10, I'm not going to get it because I do not like gold. I just don't like how it looks on me. And if you're wondering why this is gold, my sister bought this for me for Christmas. So sorry, sister, but you know, I'm wearing it, but it's more like a brass. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Actually, these were originally like $54. So a little, yeah, kind of expensive, kind of not for like, if you would have bought them full price. Quick little story. I originally got um, Adidas slides for me and my boyfriend. I like got matching ones. Um, but then mine were like a little too small. So I was really trying to be chill. I didn't even like, wasn't even looking for like, you know, dress up dressy shoes or whatever, or booties or heels or whatever. So anyways, I went in there for Adidas slides. I got Adidas slides, I got both of them and then mine didn't fit. So I had to return them. So basically I returned the Adidas slides, long story short, and then I seen these and I was like, well, there's nothing else. I think I paid like 30 instead of 54. So in my mind, I mean, obviously I paid 54 for them, but in my mind, I paid only 30 extra dollars because I was returning something that I already purchased. My way of thinking is probably wrong. Probably shouldn't have gotten anything. I probably should have just got my money back, but I got these instead. Madden girl. Really cute. Number five is like one of my favorites. I literally just got this one and I'm super happy about it because I didn't spend that much money and I wanted them anyways, but I just wanted like, you know, the plain colors. My inner self, my inner style that I'm trying to suppress and be a minimalist did not work, so. Here they are. Okay, literally, I don't know what happened, but my phone randomly said the temperature was like way too high, emergency, that I couldn't use my phone, that it overheated. So I don't know why that's happening. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. So I'm gonna try to do this really quickly. Just look at them and I'm sorry. Like, so basically, like you, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but they're um, metallic blue and they're ASIC Gel Light 3s. And I really originally, like I said, I was trying to be a minimalist. I'm just trying to just narrow down like my decision making in life. Then I seen these and I was like, oh my God. So I tried them on and I was like, okay. So then I checked the price and it was only $24.99. And I was like, okay, seriously, like this is not even a thought. I'm going to get them. Originally, obviously, like if I was in the store, I don't know if it's because of the color or what, but I'm pretty sure they'd be like 70 bucks depending. So what a steal. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy about these. I love these, I love these so much. So yeah, ASIC Gel Light 3s, $25. I'm pretty happy about it. I got them at Ross. I'm just never, ever, ever going to the mall again. I'm never going to the mall again because I don't, I don't need to, obviously. I don't really have any spring clothes yet. I don't have like shorts that I can fit me because I'm gaining weight, I'm getting fat. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell in my closet back there, but literally it's just full of hoodies and jackets. And so I get cold in the summertime. Like I hate that it's so hot outside and then you go inside and it's like freezing with AC. And so I always have to have a jacket with me anyways. So like I'm always gonna wear a hoodie probably. Point is that I don't have any, um, you know, like shorts and I don't I have just jeans and hoodies and like a few t-shirts and a few tank tops so I just feel like I needed spring wardrobe you know if I wanted to look cute or whatever number six I have this dress which is so amazing and I'll tell you why it's so amazing to me because you're probably like wow like what is that strapless I don't know if you could see the color but it's like olive green and it's midi, so it goes down below the knees, like in the middle of my um, half area. And it's so awesome because I got this dress for $3. It's the best $3 I've ever spent. 
it just to me like I, I probably wouldn't even have cared if it was ugly actually I would but my favorite colors ever that I wear and it was three dollars for this three dollars for this three dollars and I got it at rainbow yes I did when I got those slides I got this dress because I was like um I have like thirty dollars in my pocket if I can find something for thirty dollars then you know three dollars and twelve dollars for the sandals I'm not even at twenty I'm not even at twenty so I'm like super excited about this dress for three dollars I can't I keep saying three dollars because I'm just so happy some people are too bougie for rainbow but I used to be one of those people, but I'm not anymore. I'm like all about it. Number seven, I got this dress also, which is off the shoulders. And it's pink. So it's like this. And it's quarter sleeved. It's like, you know, a, like just regular material. I got this also at Rainbow for the tag is still on it. I got this for $12.97 and it's off the shoulders. And it is also a midi as well, like, you know, the blush pink color that I like. It's like soft pink. I'm a pink slides. Now I have this soft pink dress. I also have like a soft pink sweater and a hoodie. So I'm obviously digging the soft pink. I got this keychain at H&M. And this was, I was so lucky to find this because first of all, the ball I had, if you just knew about the ball that I had before, this little fuzzy ball, so disgusting I had it for like a year and it's been like everywhere it's been in the river like when I went to the beach last summer it's been everywhere so anyways not that this ball is the greatest ball in the world but it was a new it's a new ball okay and it had a silver chain this thing right here I'm like so in love with so in love that it's silver because every single one of them I got this at H&M for five dollars by the way every single one of them had the gold thing and as I explained before I hate gold I was super happy to find this one blue ball which I love blue and this silver chain was made me so happy so I have to express it right now and then my friend Sammy got me this keychain <laughs> shout out to Sammy I'm gonna plug I'm gonna plug the video with him in this vlog for giving me this keychain I'm just so happy about it Anyways, that's not what I was even talking about. Okay, so we can make that number eight, okay? So anyways, I got this bag. This bag makes my life so happy because I've been looking. I had a Michael Kors bag and it was super huge. It was a Ham Hamilton bag. It was brown and, and it had like the Michael Kors logo, all that stuff. I just hated it so much. I never even, like I wanted it so bad for Christmas. And then I never had anything to put in it because it was so big and I never carried it anywhere. You know, I traded it for a Kate Spade bag. I had a Kate Spade bag because I was like, oh, I just want something normal and I just want like something black. And that one was like really like a tan, like a nude and black color, but it was now squarish, it was cute, whatever. But I got tired of that too because it was like too big. I didn't want to feel like taking care of it. All this name brand stuff, like I just can't do it anymore. So anyways, I went to Kohl's with my mom. Legit. I shouldn't even do YouTube anymore because literally every time I try to, try to record a video, my camera dies. I run out of space. It overheats. I just don't understand. The devil, guys. He's very much alive, but I will not let him stop me. This is crazy. Every time I'm like, oh my God, why do I even do this to myself? <sighs> my mother, she took me to the store at Kohl's. I, I kind of forced her to buy me this purse. So in a way it was cheap because I didn't pay for it. And also, how much was this bag? I think it was like 30, it may, it may have been like $45, but then it was like some type of percentage off or something like that. And then if you have the app Retail Me Not, they had like um, like another like 10% off or 30% off or something like that, I don't know. But anyways, we got a lot of percent off and I got this purse because 
it, I just really wanted like a simple black purse since I don't have that much stuff. I absolutely love it because why? The silver. I just, I hate. I can't even find a purse. Well, thank God I found this one, but I couldn't find a purse that was black and didn't have like gold on it. It was so annoying. I'm like, why does everything have to be black with gold embellishments? I just don't understand. So now I have a silver one and I'm happy. It's not name brand. Well, I mean, I'm. Yeah, Dana Butchman. I don't know how to say that. That's what it is. All it is is just, you know, a shoulder bag. What do I have in it? Nothing much. Tylenol for my headache. Love it. Thank you, Mom. She's never watching my videos, so that doesn't matter. But the next one, which I just found in my purse, is a favorite that I got from Ulta, but it's NYX. This, um... It's the illuminating stick. I think it was supposed to be. <gasps> that did not happen. Okay, so it's the next <laughs> bright idea illuminating stick. It have a highlighting stick and a bronzing stick, but I think this was meant to be a bronzer, but I use it as a highlighter. This is the color. I can try to put it on. Just the Literally put it on. And then I'll rub it in. And yay! There you go. Cool. It's quick. It's easy. I got was also free because shout out to BJ or on SoundCloud he goes by Jamie which is like Jamie and it's like J apostrophe A I M E which means I love but he's a rapper slash singer and he's really good so check him out on SoundCloud so he gave me this marble phone case. I really love it. I was gonna order Amazon, but I took too long. So he gave it to me himself because he loves tech stuff and phone stuff and he has like 50,000 phone cases. So he gave this one to me for free and I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And I had to give him a present. Anyways, check him out on SoundCloud. That is also another, another favorite. He's really good. Like his voice is so amazing, especially in person. Like. It's to die for, like, please, anyone, come to Bridges of Love International and hear his voice, along with the whole other worship team. It's awesome. The next two are the last two items that I have. It's not um, anything I can wear, so it's this book um, right here. There you go. And it's called Manage Your Day-to-Day, -day, Build Your Routine, Find Your Focus, and Sharpen Your Creative Mind. So my friend Anthony, also check him out. I feel like I'm plugging in everyone. But his Instagram is 2officialinc, and he, like, T-O-O, Official Inc. I'll link it down in the description bar. He just um, finished my tattoo, which that's in a whole nother video. And also, he just is really good at art and painting and everything. So, anyways, we share creative ideas. And he gave me this book, which I was like, oh, wow. So, um, to read. So, I'm going to finish reading it. And, uh, yeah, it was really good. But I really like how, like, in the um, middle, there's just, like, different quotes about, like, the chapters that, like, stand out. And this one says... The difference between successful people and very successful people is that very successful people say no to almost everything. Which is my problem because I say like yes to everything and I have and I probably should be saying no because I'm always like yeah let me do that yeah let's go out yeah let me go do this yeah and then I never focus on what I'm supposed to be doing so <laughs> look at that to success and um, I haven't even read this far so good book I don't know how much it costs but I think he got it on Amazon and usually anything on Amazon and it's by like a couple people who are like from Behance 
So that's also like a creative um, website uh, that you could go to. It's like a lot of creative people there. Uh, but the reason why it's cheap is because someone lended it to me. So if you have any friends that aren't reading or have read, try to borrow them or something or give books to people that you're not reading. The next one is a book as well and it's one that I just started reading and then the first chapters from like one to I think I'm on chapter six right now is like automatic automatically helped my life like five times more like my my life and my brain and my wisdom has exceeded like five times five points more than I've had before I read this book and I haven't even finished it so after this I'm probably gonna be a genius and I'm probably gonna be taking control of my life is what I feel like so called the battlefield of the mind by Joyce Myers and Meyer and then this is an updated version so I guess there's two versions I haven't read the first version but it's literally I guess the same version except for this is updated with a little bit more of um I guess she talked about like you know her life in the book before of like how these circumstances would um come up and then now she updated it because it has helped so many people and she sold millions of copies of in different places that she updated it and told us you know how those circumstances got better and stuff so i'm just gonna read you a quick little description of uh, probably what i have been going through um it says worry doubt confusion depression anger and feelings of condemnation all these things are attack attacks on the mind if you suffer from negative thoughts take heart joyce meyer has helped millions win these all-important battles and she can help you too shows you how to change your life by changing your mind she teaches you how to deal with thousands of thoughts you have every day and focus on your mind to think the way god thinks and she shares the trials tragedies and ultimate victories of from her own marriage family and ministry that lead her to wondrous life transforming truth and reveals her thoughts and feelings every step of the way now it's your turn to gain control over your mind find freedom and peace recognize damaging thoughts and stop them from influencing your life be patient with yourself even when you make mistakes arm yourself with the word of god praise prayer and other powerful spiritual weapons overcome your mental wilderness the bad attitudes and excuses people use that keep them from god and find the undreamed of happiness don't surrender to misery another day. Anyways, this book, I just, it literally, like, the only, like, in the first six chapters that I've read, the reason why I think this book has helped so much is because she talks to you like I would talk to myself. And I'm just like, dang, like, this is not no author. She's really, like, telling me, like, this is how I talk to myself every day. I'm like, Am I thinking this way? Oh no, I probably shouldn't be thinking this way. What am I thinking? Like, she just breaks it all down, like the thoughts that are already in my mind and breaks it down to why I'm thinking that way and why I shouldn't be thinking that way. It's just, she's smart. Like, she's like, it's like literally she was me and now she's the person I wanna be. Well, not her, you know, but her mind, the way she thinks. So I'm just like, yes to this book, yes to this book, and I just got it. So obviously I'm going to be reading it the whole entire uh, spring. I'm on chapter six. It's not that big. So I know it mentioned God and references about him, you know, and spiritual stuff. But either way, I feel that this book will still help you regardless of, you know, your religious um, you know ways or whatever or each, just some insight onto how the mind works so I think I think this is a good recommendation hopefully I fit it heated again so I really need to stop using this but good book good recommendation that's all the things that I'm going to be enjoying this um, spring summer whatever yeah this spring um, I got like some of these most of these things in April um, like the end of April yeah that's all I have for my phone 
heats up again and I thank you for watching subscribe don't forget to click the button down below so yeah I'll see you next week I hope you enjoyed everything hope you enjoyed my little talking to you and comment subscribe things that you liked things that um, are cheap places that you shop at because I need to know cuz I'm trying to tell you the budgeting I don't know suggestions whatever you whatever you need just you know comment down below and I shall read them stay blessed I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.